Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture of some layered art. I can't really tell. I think it's at least four layers. And I don't know if he's going to share it yet, but I'm going to draw one. I'm not going to, I'm copying his idea, but I'm not going to copy his artwork. So I've got a turtle, a turtle, excuse me. I made several copies. So I'm going to make it a six inch frame in a five inch circle. So I've made many duplicates. And I'm using a nudge factor of seven inches. That's pretty important because we want to nudge stuff in and out. So in a previous video, I showed how to do a contour on this turtle. And this video is going to have many, many parts. So stay tuned at the end. I'll tell you if you'd like it, I'll share the file. So what we need to do is make a second contour of this turtle. So we're going to grab the contour, go up to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the outside 0 0.04 because we want just a little bit of a contour. We're going to go to a range. We're going to break contour apart. We're going to take the outside contour and move it out of the way. I want to select everything. I'm going to make the, the whole turtle red because he is a, a um, hairline already anyway. Now we're going to move. We're going to nudge our contour turtle back. This is going to be the very top layer. Now we need to take our virtual segment delete key and delete these extra lines. And for a, just a second, I can nudge my box out of the way, my outline. So I will not hurt it. And we're almost there. I can nudge my box back. And now what we need to do is make it well. I missed a few parts. You've got to kind of imagine that when you cut out the wood, and this is pretty good because the fact that we're going to have a backer piece, so it'll be really strong. So we want to cut out these pieces that are going to make up the turtle. Matter of fact, you could probably cut all these lines out. Probably wouldn't want to cut them all out. You just kind of got to use your judgment and discretion on which ones to cut. Because we, this, well, I'll show you in just a second what it's going to look like in kind of a test. So we're going to take that, take that, go ahead and take that. We could probably leave that. So now let's fill it in. Let's fill in our, uh, with the Smart Fill tool. And that's what it's going to look like. Of course, the Smart Fill cannot get to these smaller sections, but they will be cut out. So there is the first layer. Control G and group it together. Nudge it out of the way. I nudge these over so I can nudge them right back. So we're going to do the second layer, or at least part of the second layer. So we need to cut virtual segment delete key, these layers, and then that way, whoop, what happened there is this node is a little bit off or not on there. We're going to grab the shape tool. We're going to make this come past it, get our virtual segment delete key and delete that line, and then delete that line. Then we can probably delete that line, and I would delete that line. You know, that's not going to work, because this is going to cut. Well, it still might work, because something's still going to hold it up. So let's get the Smart Fill tool and fill it in, and that's basically what we're going to have. Now, you could cut more of this out, but I think you're leaving uh, more room for the turtle and what it's going to look like. So now let's control G this. Now, we're going to do more to the second layer, but let's bring our first layer back in. And this is the good thing about the nudge tool. That's what it's going to look like. And... 
trust me, it's going to be cool. So that's our first layer. Here's our second layer. We're going to do more, more to the next layer, and then I'll do the third and maybe the fourth layer in, an, in another video. So stay tuned. So this will be part one, and the other ones will be the same name, but part two. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.